Alright then guys, what's going on? It's Crackerjack and we're playing some more FIFA 18 today. We're continuing on, of course, with Forest Green Rovers. This is part number 16. Uh, last episode was absolutely amazing. Obviously the first game that we played we'd lost, which wasn't that great, but it means we don't have to play the FA Cup games anymore. The second game in the episode as well was just fantastic. You know, 5-0 against Stevenage. Obviously we realised at the end of the episode that Stevenage were bottom of the table, but, you know, I'm going to take it all day of the week. The, the sort of long shot tactic seemed to work out for us and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're sticking with the exact same team. we still got Moran in the back four, which is a bit of a liability because of course Monfe got himself injured. But, you know, I've got high hopes for this game. Going into this episode, I've got really high hopes based on the way that we did play in the last game of the last episode. So hopefully we can get some more long shots off and hopefully we can pick up all three points here away from home against Shrewsbury Town. All right then guys, here we go. We're getting things underway here. Like I say, hopefully we can pick up all three points. Come on, lads. We've got to go for those long shots. If we get it into that 25, 20, 25 yard area, if we've got our space to shoot, we, you know exactly what's going to be happening from now on. Come on. Good interception. That's it. Better. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that nice little touch. Don't ruin it. Oh, Doyd, you ruined it. He always has to go and ruin it. Stay on him. Stay on him. Good interception there from Moran, it was. Coming in clutch right when it counts. Let's go now. Let's go now. Oh, what kind of pass was that? Why don't you pass it forward to your striking partner, James, there? Come on, man. We're going for a fourth consecutive win here. If we can pick up all three points. We are in a fine run of form, obviously last episode, the last game that we played, 5-0, absolutely fantastic. We haven't really had much of an opportunity to take a shot yet in this game. Who's there running to support? No one, James is trying to go all the way, he oh he pokes it through the Deutsch! Deutsch! Oh, oh, I should have chipped it. I should have chipped that shot. I didn't think Deutsch was going to have the pace to get through there. Good save from the Shrewsbury Town goalkeeper. We've got a corner now, the first of the game. Let's go. Whip it in, good ball. Header. Oh, fantastic save again. And it's there. It's James. James on the follow up. Can't quite see who it was who had that initial header. I think it might have been Deutsch. But it's James there at the far post, mopping up the scraps. 1 0 away from home. Absolutely fantastic. Right before half time as well. All of the home fans are absolutely distraught. Let's see who gets a herder on it. Yeah, it's Deutsch. No, it's not. It's sorry. It's Laird. It looks like it's Laird, the left back, number three. Gets a header on it. Goalkeeper makes a fantastic save. And James is out at the far post, out muscling his man. And he manages to head that one home. 1-0. One Come on, lads. But there you go. There's a half-time whistle. 1-0 it stands. The home supporters have just been silenced by that late goal in the first half. I mean, it was a bit fortunate that James was there and the goalkeeper didn't really push it away into a safe zone. But, you know, we'll take it. Um, 44th minute goal. What more can I say? 1-0 away from home. No, 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 no. No! Oh, my word. What the hell? What the fuck was that? Straight from kickoff. Are you kidding me? We did so well to get our noses in front just before half time. And inside the first three minutes of the second half, look at this brilliant play. Who is that? It's just Laird. He's just, he lets his man get past him. And he's just unmarked. Look. Look at that. There's, there's absolutely nothing Ribeiro can do. The defence was caught napping. It's one all. Oh my word. Oh, he's going around him. Marsh Brown, Marsh Brown. Marsh Brown! Oh! Should have tried maybe finessing that. Fantastic run there from Marsh Brown. I thought the goalkeeper got a touch on that, but it just goes sailing over the crossbar. It was a fantastic bit of play there. Oh, should be 2-1 up. We should really have restored our one goal lead there, but it just wasn't to be. That's it. Come on, this is better. This is better. Poke it forward. Cutting inside, cutting inside, cutting back, cutting back. Ref! Ref! Go away, go away, shoot! Oh, mm, we're getting chances. 
I can't complain about not having chances because we have had quite a few here in the opening moments of this second half. Oh my word, what is going on? Who's marking him? Away, away! Fuck's sake, defenders, what are you playing at? Good interception there, come on Moran. You've been okay at the back. What kind of pass was that forward? Why are you playing it so far? You had so many men open to your left. Oh, he's offside. Surely he's offside. He was definitely offside there. I could see the linesman raising his flag. There was no way he was going to get away with that. Oh, I don't know what kind of ball that was, but he still got it. He still got it. Hit that. Oh, uh, surely. Surely. Someone. Pass it. Pass it. That's it. That's it. Bye, bye, bye. Oh. Again, so close, but so far. Oh. Full time whistle goes. 1-1. One, one. We did well to get our noses in front just before half time, but a lapse in concentration right after the break. And we conceded almost immediately. And it was it was a close game from then on out. You know, I, I'd like to say that we had the line share of chances in the second half. We just couldn't capitalise, you know. Marsh Brown should have scored that absolutely amazing chance that he had, cutting him from the right-hand side. 1-1. One, one. Uh, from highs to lows, obviously the highs of last episode, 5-0. Back now, 1-1. One, one. I mean, it's a point away from home, I can't really complain, but we should really be doing better. Alright then guys, so we have some forward a couple more games, and we are, of course, in January now, but... We aren't going to be making any more deals. I don't know if we are going to be signing anyone. I haven't really got my eye on anyone. You know, we are really working on our youth system. And we've got a couple of good players coming through. Obviously, we've got the young right back, Edson Ray, still in our youth academy. And, of course, Alexander Carlsen, our Swedish scout, has just come back from Brazil with an update. We've got Caio Gomez, 17 years old, 46 to 58, 68 to 86. So he's a bit on the low side. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite cut the mustard for us. We're going to go ahead and get rid of him. We've got Eduardo Rossi. 16 years old, 56 to 70, which is kind of okay, 70 to 88, eh, again, you know, I mean, he's on that right-hand side of the field, if he comes in at right back, we don't really need him, because I feel like Edson Race is going to be better than him, we've got Francisco Tavares, 46 to 58, 73 to 93, again, his, his potential might tempt you, but his overall at the moment, he comes in, what, 52, 53 rated, it is going to be a bit of a grind to try and get him up there, Unfortunately, we're not going to leave him in at the moment. We're going to get rid of him. We've got Gabriel Xavier, 39 of 51. I'm sorry, if you come in with that with that overall, you, you've just got no chance. We're going to get rid of him. Hugo Asvedo, 36 to 50, 40, 44. To, why? Why are you even here? We've got Renato Pereira, 16 years old, 48 to 64. Eh, it's okay, I guess. It's a, it's a fairly wide uh, sort of overall spread, but. You know, his potential 74 to 94. He could be one to watch. We're, of course, going to leave him in there. And our last player is, of course, Adriano Amaral, 17 years old, 41 to 57. Not quite that great. 56 to 78. So we are going to go ahead and get rid of him as well. Nothing really outrageously spectacular to report. Eduardo Rossi, 16 years old, 56 to 70, 78, 70 to 88. And then Renato Pereira, of course, that he, he could be, he, he could turn out to be a, quite a beast of a player, but, you know, his overall. If that does start slipping down, because like I said, it is quite a wide range of numbers there. So if it does sort of slowly slip down, it might not be too great for us. But he could come in as a left back and we could have our Brazilian left and right back partnership, which would be fantastic. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead now and show you some of the Sims games and some of the results through uh, December and the start of the January period. All right, then, guys, so obviously at the start of the episode, we played a game against Shrewsbury away from home. We managed to pick up a point. It was a bit of a disastrous start to the second half in that game, as you guys saw. But, you know, a point away from home, as I always say, it's not too... It's, it's not it's not that bad. It's not the best. But, you know, we would have obviously liked to have won that. But, like I say, I'm not, gonna com I'm not really going to complain about a point away from home. Then we came up against Grimsby Town at home. What a performance that was. Carlos Linz, who's slowly and slowly becoming one of our best players in the midfield. He scored two goals in this game. Absolutely amazing amazing performance not really much more I can say 3-0 at home then of course we came up against Barnet in an away match it wasn't that great to be honest um, a, some of our players were tired you know Moran was very very tired in this game obviously you know you know how busy the uh, Christmas period gets and of course it did sort of take a toll on our team as you can see 2-0 loss 
yeah, I, I, I can't really make any more excuses because, you know, we just, we just played poor in that game. Then we came up against Grimsby Town away from home. Managed to pick up all three points as well. So there we go. We did the double over Grimsby Town in this season. We, of course, won 3 0 at home and then 2 1 away from home. Can't really complain about that. The next game was against our arch nemesis, the uh, team that equalised with us in the first game of the episode. It was, of course, Shrewsbury Town. Now, we came up against them at home, and this time, on our soil, we managed to pick up all three points. A fantastic 2-1 win. I believe Carlos Lind scored two more goals in this game as well, so absolutely amazing. What a breakout season he is having this year, and as we tick over into 2019, the next game that we are going to be playing at the end of this episode is an away game against Colchester United, and hopefully we can fare a bit better than we did in our first game. Hopefully we can pick up all three points. What a way it would be to end this episode, much like the last episode against Stevenage. Hopefully we can get some long shot chances as well let's go ahead now and play against Colchester United all right then guys here we go we're getting things underway here as you can see it's been snowing at the start of 2019 could make playing conditions a bit difficult in today's game of course away from home against Colchester United hopefully we can fare a bit better than we did in our opening game of this episode against Shrewsbury but you know I'm not really holding my hopes up here we go now on the counter-attack getting forward getting forward shoot that shoot that ah oh. I'm getting, you know, I want to try and make these long shots work. We didn't really have a chance for a long shot in the uh, first game of the episode. Come on now, on the counter, come on. We're making that run forward. You see that? Oh, James, what are you doing? Oh, that would have been fantastic, to be fair, but the through ball from James just didn't manage to find Deutsch there. It's a fantastic header, however, from the centre of the field. Plays it forward to Deutsch. Deutsch going for a long shot. Oh, the defender throws a body in front of it. Go for that. Oh my word, what a save that is. Marsh Brown coming on the overlap on the right hand side of the pitch. Oh, and it's a fantastic save there from their goalkeeper. I thought for sure we'd have the opening goal there. We've got a corner, however. Come on, let's go. Float it in. Get a nice header on that. Oh, it's just poor. Absolutely poor. There you go. Look, Colchester are above us in the league. This is going to be a pretty difficult game for us let's go now on a counter attack oh what kind of football was that recycle it recycle it there we go James James oh again I'm trying the long shots I need to stop I need to stop with the long shots especially with James because this guy just I, I don't know I don't know what's up with him maybe he's a right footed player and I've taken two long shots with his left foot oh come on who's going to him anyone Oh, I'd give up. Fucking hell. I, I, I don't have anything to say. There's nothing that I can say that will make any of this better. Oh, what kind of ball was that? Still got it. Still got it. Are you fucking kidding me? How? How are you not? How, how are you not at least getting that on target? Look, unchallenged. I didn't even hit it that hard that time. Go on, Brown. Go on, Brown. All the way. All the way, Brown. Oh, first shot on target. Oh, we sh I feel like we should be maybe one or two goals up, but it's just not happening for us. We've had so many shots, and it's just that was our first one on target. Clo Does anyone want to go to him? Obviously not. There we go, there's a half-time whistle. I mean, the players are probably going to be blaming the conditions and, you know, the fact that they're cold, but I don't pay your wages. For, for you to be complaining about conditions like this, you know, it's always going to happen. You're always going to be combating tough conditions, especially against, you know, a Colchester side. Granted, they're, you know, they're above us in the league, but, you know, we've got to be doing better than that in the second half. Go on, James. Oh, James, what are you doing? Oh. Come on, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Oh, I see, I didn't want to hit it that hard, but if I would have hit that harder, he might have scored. Come on, Mullings. Fresh legs, fresh legs. Oh, stay on him. Out muscle. Oh, yes, Mullings. Marsh Brown, Marsh Brown, Marsh Brown. Oh, my word. Anyone? Look, there's no one. There you go. You're in acres of space. Marsh Brown, cut back. Oh, Marsh Brown, go. Oh, my God. We had so many chances. Every time we try and get a shot away, it just... I, I don't know if... I, I'm pretty sure that, like, the fact that it's been snowing has no effect on the way that the players kick the ball. 
because I mean, if, I mean, obviously it would make it more realistic if it if it if it did, but surely not. Oh my! I thought that was in. I thought that was in. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna lose my shit if they scored there. Oh, oh my word! Fuck me! Come on, come on! Mullins, what are you doing? It looks as if it's just gonna be a nil-nil draw. Honestly, it should, we we should have fucking won this game. I, I'm do something, someone. Fuck me! Oh my! I have no idea how they missed that. Jesus Christ! Fucking hell! What the? Oh my! I, I, I don't. I'm, I'm not even gonna play. I don't even give a shit. I'm not even fucking playing. Fuck's sake, man! Oh my God! Just blow up, ref! Just blow the fucking whistle. We're gonna go on a counter attack. Yeah, there we go. Look. What is honestly going? What is going on? Fucking hell! All right, then, guys. So that's it for today's episode of my playthrough of FIFA 18 with Forest Green Rovers. Just to give you a quick update. Obviously, the last game that we played was against Colchester United, and as you can see, you know. They're second on the table. We're third now. We have moved up one position. We're on 50 points. They're on 53. So, you know, we're still one win behind them. But, again, I, I feel like we should have done been we should have been doing better in that last game. Um, obviously, you know, the, the game before, I perhaps maybe got a bit overconfident after winning 5-0 against Stevenage. And, you know, I mean, Stevenage are, you know, below us. They're, they're, they're right down at the bottom of the table. So, I, I think, you know, I just got a bit too complacent in today's games. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Um, if, if you did enjoy it, if you did enjoy how bad I am at FIFA, smash that like button. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button as well. But for now guys, I will see you in the next episode.